come to another important lesson which will take us through the classifications of which will be actually our classifications of levels of accounting theory so under our classifications of uh, theories we have accounting structure interpretation decision usefulness in accounting structure we will look at the introduction contributors then the limitation interpretational look at introduction contributors and the limitation then we come to the decision usefulness look at the introduction types now this is our key area so we will be expounding on decision usefulness financial information so it is critical to have this in mind why do we need financial information every successful financial or accounting system brings financial information so the, they identify types of information likely to be most useful to use in the making decision about the reporting entity on the basis of information in the financial reporting so the initial interest of preparing financial information is for the consumers of accounting information fundamental quantity qualitative characteristics now it is good for us to understand what are these characteristics that qualifies the financial information number one relevant financial information is capable of making difference in decision made by users if it is if it has precise value confirmatory value or bot so it has to be predictive they can predict what will happen in the future and it can confirm exactly what will happen number two is faithful representation information must be complete neutral and free from material error so it is very important to have this in mind the accounting information or the financial information which is being presented must be complete neutral and free from material error so these are the fundamental qualitative characteristics now we look at the enhanced qualitative characteristics number one comparability comparison with similar information about other entities with similar information about the same so it is very important to have this in mind the financial information that you're getting must be useful in making comparison you compare one entity to another or entity of the same class for another period or date so it has to be for a given period of time variability it helps to ensure our users that information represented faithfully the economic phenomena it purports to in that sense we must have this in mind variability means the information pre presented must be used with knowledgeable and observations with the observation which brings clear consensus between the parties consuming the information must make the clear decisions timeliness it means that the information is available to decision makers in time to be capable of influencing their decision the right information at the right time then finally understandability classifying characterizing and presenting information clearly and concisely understandability is very important people must be able to understand the information provided in a very precise clear and simple manner now it is very important again for us to look at the bodies that brings into perspective the financial framework 
of financial standards. So, regulatory framework. We have IFRS AC, this International Financial Reporting Standard Advisory Committee. What is their mandate? Provide advice to International Accounting Standard Board on agenda matters, impact proposed standard, and provide strategic advice to who? To accounting, to International Accounting Standard Board. Number two, we move now to International Accounting Standard Board. What is the mandate of the International Accounting Standard Board? Develop new accounting standard, liaise with the national standard setting bodies to promote convergence of international and national accounting standard. So it is their mandate to develop accounting standard. Now once we move to this body of ISB, we move now to the body of I, IFRS FC, International Financial Reporting Standard Interpretation Committee is mandated assist International Accounting Standard Board to establish and improve the standards. Issue interpretation in fricks. So provide information, provide timely guidance on the emerging issues in accounting standard. Assist in the international and national convergence process. So these are the bodies, regulatory bodies, which are mandated in bringing forth the uniformity, the standard of recording business transaction of bringing forth accounting information at the same time for reporting purposes. So when you have this in mind, it gives you now the clear perspective of why we need financial accounting theory. Remember, financial accounting theory helps accountants in their practice. Accounting structure theory. So we come to the level one accounting structure theory. We'll move to the next.